morning, Master. Good to see that you're awake. I hope you enjoy today's blend. I'd like to keep it a surprise for now, because you always seem to find it amusing to make a game out of guessing what the blend is. I think you'll find this one rather different from the rest. Your schedule today is wide open, so I must ask, what would you enjoy doing today? Well, there are a variety of activities that you could partake in. For example, you do have a business meeting that could be scheduled for today, though I doubt you'd want to do something so important on such short notice. Uh, tea with your fiancé? That would be rather interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> and of course, there's always a chance that the Queen might send for you. No, nothing so far. But, as I've said, your schedule is wide open today. Anything could happen. Hmm. Of course, Master. What is it we must discuss? Yes, I've noticed. Your wish is coming close to being fulfilled. Getting nervous? <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with that. Humans are always fearful for their lives. It would make sense if you were a bit hesitant to proceed. <laughs> I never pegged you to be one to be afraid of death, though. What with your dangerous line of work? Your life is at risk every hour of every day. I would honestly be afraid if you were afraid to die. You want to talk about the process? Of course, Master. Anything you desire. It is fairly simple. I will bring you to the Demon Sanctuary. A place no mortal has gone and returned from. There, you will be put into a deep sleep, much as if you've gone into a coma. And when I separate your soul from your body, I'll have to use all my restraint to keep you from feeling too much pain. And then, I shall devour your soul the same way humans devour their meals. If you'd like, I can try to be gentle in doing so. I wouldn't want to hurt you, my dear master. <laughs> Very well. Any guesses on what blend your tea is this morning? Didn't think so. You see, this is a very special blend. One that is sweet, even without sugar. Though I did add an extra spoonful of sugar to help mask the flavor. Of what, you ask? It's quite simple. 
a sleeping agent. It should take effect soon. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Master. Forcing yourself to be sick. It won't do you much good now. It's already in your bloodstream. It just needs to be distributed throughout the rest of your body. Why am I doing this? I can assure you it's not to harm you, Master. You see, I have developed a special bond with you during our time together. And, as you said, you're getting closer and closer to fulfilling your goal. And if that happens, I'll have no choice but to kill you and devour your soul. But that is not something I feel like doing. I'd rather keep you. Enjoy you while you're alive. And when it comes time for you to die, perhaps I can work out a way for you to live. Oh, I've already thought of that. You won't be able to command me any longer. You see, Master, I will keep you from being able to speak at all. No, no. I don't intend to cut out your tongue or anything that barbaric. I'll just have to gag you with something. Though I'm sure it won't be too difficult. It seems the effects are starting to take hold. You look weaker. Your shoulders have begun to sag. Your eyelids are drooping. Your body is relaxing. That's very good. Don't be afraid, Master. As I said, I have no intentions of harming you. Just keeping you for myself. Or at least until I grow bored of you. But I doubt such a thing will happen. Especially with someone as intriguing as you. Do sleep well, Master. From now on, your schedule will be completely blank. And we'll have to have all of our energy to think of activities to partake in. Just you and me.